has a Connor Bedard redemption card been sitting in this box for 10,000 years. There's lots to unpack here as we're on the road to the 24-25 MVP season by taking a bit of a rewind and cracking open a box at a 23-24 Upper Deck MVP yeah. Hockey. Um, now we are looking at a configuration of 8 cards per pack, 20 packs per box, uh, and we're featuring Austin Matthews in the cover. Um, he's about to take a face off and he's, well, he's probably about to win it too. Um, take a look at the box here. NHL stickers, so you know that it's a legitimate item on the side. We've got three new inserts, alternate threads, which sounds exciting, but it's not. It's just their players wearing third jerseys. It's not like swatch or material cards or anything. Uh, ice reps and stars of the rink. Side. Look for rare autograph cards. We'll get to that in a little bit. And color and contours. My favorite set. Only gotten, I think, I think I've gotten one in the past, but uh, while opening on this channel, I think I only got one. So, um, anyway. Open up the box. Immediately, we can take a look at the odds. If it helps you, 23-24. Take a screen cap. Print it. I don't know what you do with it. Open. That's it. <laughs> All right, just ripped open. The anyway, there are 250 cards in the core set with tons of inserts. Uh, the majority of the inserts essentially being hot garbage, um, especially the ice battles, which sucks and I hate it. Um, this is very much an introductory set to be appreciated for what it is, and it's you know it's not going to be with monetary worth here. Uh, if you're invested in sealed boxes of these, uh, you're going to lose all your money. Uh, and it's uh, not going to be the smartest thing. So uh, here we have Austin Matthews on the cover of the pack. And the back, again, we've got the UPC code for some reason, if you need that. Um, which one of these guys is going into the puck luck? Uh, I feel like I'm cheating just because I'm looking for, like, the fattest pack. Uh, which is this one? It looks kind of it's kind of fat. Anyway. Um... So I've, I've uh, unlike other MVP times, I've, uh, I don't think I've ever bought a blaster. I usually buy a blaster because uh, it's usually a cheap buy. I've not bought any of these cards, and uh, already I don't like them. They're not glossy. They've gone back to super cheap materials, which probably hasn't been used since, like, the 90s. So <laughs> it is a cheap set. I don't know. Cole Caulfield, Philip Forsberg. Uh, we got Adam Fox. Uh, Victor Olsen. Um We've got Ice Battles of uh, Sergeyev. Nobody cares. And, uh, wow, okay, our first silver script, MVP talent, and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a rookie, Askarov. Not bad. He did really well for the, uh, out of 25, holy crap. Well, that's a surprise. Oh, wow, all right, cool. Uh, did not know that, did not expect that, did not know that. Was not expecting a numbered card, but I got one. Very, very cool. I just thought that was a standard base to be, uh, to be perfectly honest. Uh, Sergeyev and Gensel. He's got a good feature ahead of him, and he's gotten one of these uh, fake fonted uh, signatures because they didn't get his in time. Anyway, so as I was going to say, we have silver scripts, which is not super scripts, black super scripts and printing plates. Uh, those are all returning with various levels of difficulty, of course, with the uh, new alternate thread falling 1 in 10, ice wrap falling 1 in 7, which sucks because 90% of the NHL mascots are absolute garbage and I hate them all. Um, the Stars of the Rink, 1 in 7. And the Hayden, uh, hate it. Ice Battles cards, like, they're like 1 in 2 or whatever. Um, and the manufacturers hate printing those too. Got Dougie Hamilton, Stutzla, Desharnay, Stutzla again. Oh, I guess. Okay, well, we've got a rookie here. Is there a rookie there? That's fine. That's fine. And our inserts, great. This piece of crap. Uh, we've got John Tavares. Not the piece of crap is not John Tavares. It's uh, it's Carlton. Great, good for him. He exists, and I hate it. Ice reps nineteen. I mean, it's I I like the hologram on the card. It looks very cool. Just uh, not this guy. Why couldn't the ice reps just be a a, a cool uh, holographic card of the captains of every team? I would have. I would have taken that Andy Day Cotspear, Heischer, and Ben. 
but it's taking that any day of the week. Anyway, uh, so if we're lucky, we can see the base magenta autograph being pulled at a rate of 1 in 800 packs, which has doubled the uh, the difficulty compared to other years, where they were 1 in 400. Uh, the list of players has also absolutely taken a dive, and um, uh, where once you can get players like Matthews, Crosby, and McDavid, although at a, at a very, very difficult pull rate, it's like 48k packs that you have to open in order to get that. It's not on players like Bertuzzi, Colton, and Dufour. Um, of course, they're fine players in their own right, but man, it just it's not the same level. Anyway, there's John Gibson, Fabry, Markstrom. You got an Ice Battles of Durandu and Jeremy Swayman. Signature. So for script. Very cool. Very cool. Dowdy Spurgeon and Shabbo. Um, we could also be extra lucky, obviously, and what we want to get here is the NHL Draft Pick Redemption card, which is pulling one in 1,000 packs. And if you're lucky, you'd get the you'd get the Bedard. Shifley, Nurse, Kalorn, Batherson, and we've got the Ice Battles of Rickard Raquel, Gross, and Stars of the Rink, Joe Pawlowski, the Dallas Stars. Kind of underwhelming foil pattern here. Stars of the Rink. Not not as poppy as I thought it was going to be. But it kind of looks like, um, I don't know if you want to say it kind of looks like uh, the grooves in the ice. If you play ice hockey. I don't know. So fetch the cob and Nick Suzuki. Toes and contours are... Uh, my favorite insert from the series, and uh, they're all serial number to either 250 for the standard, 20 for green, or 3 for purple. Uh, this year is featuring the same group of guys you expect with David Crosby Matthews, but hopefully I can snag an Eichel if I'm lucky enough to get one of those. That's not for near. Brian Russ, Fisher, uh, Gibson, and Stars of the Rink. Uh, Nathan McKinnon. All right, this one has to be like a gold or a special one, right? Because th maybe this is a standard one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm assuming this is a standard one. Nathan McKinnon, MVP. Cool. Maybe that's the one one in per box kind of kind of deal. <laughs> uh, Robin Leonard, Huberto, and Hannafin. Ryan O'Reilly, Chicken, you drew Bo Horvat in the Ice Battles. <sighs> we got this jerk, Iceberg, and Sidney Crosby. Great. Uh, is, this a, is this a gold one? or This one looks more gold than the one on my right hand. I don't know. I feel like this is the gold version now. Just pulling gold version, and I don't know what to do with them. Besser, Rana, and Norris. Did I miss any rookies? I liked it. I liked it when rookies looked like a different color border. Not anymore. Cost too much money. Ink is expensive. Uh, we got Dylan Larkin, Couturier, Anderson. We got Ice Battles of Matthew Nye's rookie. Um, sucks. And Seth Jarvis. Silver script. Very cool. Sucks that we got a rookie ice battle card because those things are garbage and I throw them away immediately. Was in Carlson and Vlasic. No contours. We got Petrangelo, Therby, Tom Wilson, ice battles of Taylor Hall, and we've got Sebastian Ajo on the silver script. Not to be confused with Sebastian Ajo. It's going to be like my favorite joke. Bergeron, Krejci, and Hintz. It's going to be like my favorite joke. I think like in my mind, I, I don't even know what the other one looks like. Rettinen, Tavares, Jenner. We've got rookies of Dufour. And an ice battle is a Dougie Hamilton. Which sucks, but we've got a Stars of the Ring. Kirill Kaprizov. Chess and Chen. Nick 
making space for new inserts. Hayton, Kaprizov, Horvat, Ice Battles, uh, Carlson. And we've got nice MVP talent. Is this uh, limited? Numbered? It is not. It is not. Good for me. Kopitar, Henrique, and Perron. Charlie Coyle. <laughs> Voracek, Doc, LeBanc, Greg on the rookies. Ice Battles of Hayton and, oh, God. Ice Wraps, a Stanley C. Panther. God, I hate these cards. These suck so much. God. Hate it. Night, Jerome. Uh, yeah, all right, yeah. Oh, yeah, whoa, duh. The MVP script right there is gold. So that's clearly the gold version. I get it. I get it. Was not looking for it. But now that I've looked at it, I can't unsee it. No contours. Robertson. Uh, we can look at the back of the card. For, I think I forgot to. But Schwartz. McAvoy. Ice Battles of Seth Jarvis. And we got Tristan Jari on the silver script. Very silvery. Very cool. Aho, Lucci Chan, Demko. No contours. JT Miller, Crosby, Bunting. Ice battles of Sad. Sad ice sad ice battle. I don't know. Milan Lucic on the silver script. Eric Sinek, Palmieri, and Malkin. Johansson, Barzal, Landeskog, Ice Battles of Kaprizov, and Alternate Threads, that new style of card coming in, falling 1 in 10, but we've only got one so far. It's not the gold version, because this time I'm paying attention to that color with the MVP there. The threads... Very difficult to read any of the copy here, um, if there's anything back there. No, it's, but it's got Zegers, Fowler, and Gibson. Very cool. Latang, Barkov, and Gordet. Gordet. No contours. Kapanen, Dubois, Vasilevsky, and we got rookies of Gutman, and Ice Battles at the Brinkett, and... Nico Heischer on the MVP Talent Standard card. Lots of cool inserts in that one. Uh, and, and, oh, God. Ethan, <laughs> I'm so bad at this. It's like 10% of the time I can pronounce his name correctly. Ethan, I see you? Yeah. Quinn Hughes, which is this guy right here. Don't know if I introduced him, but that's the puck luck. Um, puck that I have. No contours. Riley, Lindholm, Kempe. Uh, we got Ice Battles of Rantanen. And nice, Stars of the Rink, Kyle Connor. I totally thought this was a Rangers jersey at first glance. And I was like, oh, yeah. I don't know who that is. <laughs> so. Alrighty. Stars of the Rink. Mark andre Fleury, Sagan, and Saad. Chrissy Kreider, Patrick Line A. We've got rookies of Kellerman, Ice Battles of Gensel, and MVP Talent, Brady Kachuk. Standard. The Brink Cat Hall and Corbin. That's our last three. No contours. We got Cider, Max Domi, Benichek, Ice Battles of Tavares. Oh. Ice Raps of Heischer. He's an okay player. New Jersey Devil sucks. Raquel, Reimer, and Kairu. Not sure we hit our box hit unless this is our box hit. We'll see. Got another MVP talent. Nugent Hopkins. Ottinger, Sagan. MVP talent, Quinn Hughes. Very cool. I feel like 
feel like something special in the air. We're going to get something. Devin Taves, Fowler, and Kachuk. We're definitely going to get something. I can feel it. Quinn Hughes was all over this box in the fact that I got two of his cards in many packs. Um, this is going to be it. It's going to be a rookie redemption. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Jonathan Quick. Andrew Kopp. We've got rookies of Tyson Forster. Uh, Ice Battles of Boone Jenner. And uh, Stars of the Ring, Joe Pavelski. That'll be it. That will do it for the box. Joe Pavelski. No redemption, but we've got checklist. Duchesne and Vincent Trocek. Ah, uh, God, it's my the worst time of year. Don't look at the ice battles. We're going to separate the uh, goalies the way we usually do. One. That's it. One goalie. John Gibson's not bad, but we're going to do uh, a top and a bottom. So we've got the Brinkat versus Nyes. Uh, who's going to win? Um, to bring it by a heavy amount. Great. Amazing. I'm going to do another top versus bottom, I suppose. Tavares versus Tutsal. Pretty evenly matched, to tell you the truth. Tavares uh, just barely ekes this out in the overall. He's got great awareness, but uh, Tutsal got the speed. And the skill, so despite the overall numbers, I'm going to give this a stutzel. Okay, great. I've wasted all our time with ice battles. <laughs> um, so what do you think of this break? Um, what were your favorite pulls? Did you get better cards than I did out of this out of your MVP box? Uh, what boxes would you like to see me crack open next? Leave a comment. Let me know. Thanks for watching, and uh, good luck in your end.